Hi guys, my name's Mets. We're just going to do a post about SFC, which is the System File Checker. Like if your PC is crashing or glitching or is acting weird, um, this command could fix it uh, for you. You never know. So it's one of those things that you try. It's a tool that is in Windows. So we're talking about most of the windows. So first we're going to open the run box to start this. So we're going to just press on the win key on the keyboard and the letter R. And the run box comes up here. So now we're going to type in CMD, which is opens up the command window. But we don't want to just press OK. We want to... Um, press shift control and enter at the same time to make it open as an admin so now we're in um, uh, the cmd window the command window now let me just tell you quickly about sfc which is the system file checker Okay, it scans and repairs protected Windows files, the ones your system depends on, the ones you need to work right, just so Windows can work. So um, it fixes important files. They're files that are meant to be the same all the time. So what happens is it goes in, checks the files, go, hmm, this doesn't look right. So it fixes it and puts it back the way it's meant to be. Now, it's pretty simple, it's a great idea, and uh, everyone can use it. So, when should you use this tool? Okay, um, well, um, you could have failed updates, random crashes or app freezes, DLL errors, missing taskbar or icons, uh, blue screen of death, uh, very helpful in that situation and uh, maybe your PC just won't boot or maybe you've got a black screen believe it or not so all of these things um, this tool the system file checker can be used in this instance so if you've got any issues like that this is the tool that you want to try first um, because it may repair it. Now some people go just go and take their um, computer to a computer repair person but they don't realize that there is some simple things that they could try first. All right so let's do a demonstration. Um, so we've opened up the run box and I'm going to type um, in there right now. So we're going to go SFC, which is System File Checker, space, slash. So just t take note of the slash that I've put on there. There's two different ones. And then write scan now, all in one word. And now this is going to scan those important files that I just said. Okay, so let's press enter on the keyboard. And it's beginning the scan. It will take some time, of course, because it's got to go through all the system files, see if they're the same, and then come back and fix them. All right, so we'll just let that go for a minute. So it's nearly finished, um, but we have three possible results that it might come up with. It might say Windows resource protection found corrupt files and repaired them, or it might find it might say, did not find any integrity violations, or it might say, found files but could not fix them. Okay, so what does it say? We're beginning the scan again, but anyway, what it said was, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. For online repairs, details are included in the CBS log file located at Windows Directory Logs, okay? That's where the log file is kept. For example, Windows slash logs slash yep, yep, yep. For offline repairs, 
details are included in the log file provided by the thing. Now, if you want to see what files it did repair, then you can go to the log file here. So let's go and have a look at the log file. Now, we're going to go to C and Windows. Um, and we're going to go, so it's logs, cbs, cbs.log. So let's go to Windows, go press on the keyboard if you want and go Windows and E to open Explorer. And now we're going to go to this PC and we're going to go into C and we're looking for Windows. Okay, so we want the logs file, the folder, click on that. And then we've got CBS, go in there. And then we've got this CBS log. This is the one it told me. So let's open it. Okay, so here it is. Okay, it's told me everything here. Now, this looks complicated. Um, if you really wanted to find out what it does say, you could upload this to ChatGPT and ask it what it actually did. But... I'm fine with it. All it's done is check the files that are meant to be on the system and put them back the way they were meant to be. All right. Now I'm going to have to reboot the system. This time it says they didn't find anything, but I still need to restart the system just to make sure. Now just say it came up with the other option that said um, it did not find any integrity violations and you have still got a problem with your computer or it found files but it couldn't fix them. So if you've still got a problem with your computer there is another step that you can take and if you're still in CMD and we're still in a, as an administrator we can type in something different. So we've got DISM which is another um, command okay it's going to check the files again we're going to put a space and we're going to put slash and then we're going to write online so we're using online so I just got to say that this you need to have an in internet connection to use this actual tool okay and then we're going to go clean up clean up dash image okay so we've got D I S M space slash online slash cleanup dash image space slash restore health. Press enter. Okay, so deployment image servicing and management tool. That's what D I S M is. Okay. So DISM repairs the component store, um, the files that the system file checker needs to do its job. Use this first if system file checker can't fix anything. So this is your next step. So here we go. It's checking it, which is lovely because now I'm doing a double check. Uh, we did fix some files, as you can see, and maybe it could fix some more, you never know. So while we're doing that, let's go through the three possible results for the system file checker. So result one is Windows resource protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So that's the actual answer that I got. Um, this means that um, system issues were found and fixed automatically and you're good to go and you should restart your PC for the best results. So result two was Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations. So it just, there is a problem but it didn't find anything. So it says, your system files are healthy. If you're still having issues, the problem is likely elsewhere. Okay? Try checking the drivers or installed apps at this stage. All right, result three uh, was Windows resource protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix them, some of them. All right, so in this case, some files are still broken. Next step 
is to do what I'm doing now, is run DISM. Okay, so, you know, this is a great tool for someone and I've just showed you a very simple way to fix your computer. On my website, you'll find a free downloadable um, PDF file and it'll have more details about the system file checker and the DISM. So this will also be there. It is just a little infographic thing I made and uh, it says, you know, step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I hope you discovered a new tool that you can use for free. And it's a good way to keep your PC up and running and keep all the system files in line without you having to do much, really. And um, if you want a copy of these commands all in one place, click the link below and go to my website and you can download the free cheat sheet that I created, which will have a few more commands in it. So basically, um, you can um, verify the files first before actually repairing them, which is great too. All right, thanks for watching and um, let me know in the comments if you've used System File Checker and repaired something with it. So let us know so we can all learn. All right, thanks for watching.